This is the most exciting firmware update that DJI have ever released. The RC2 can now record onto the SD card and I'm going to show you the Air 3 and the Mini 4 Pro looking through all the sensors whilst in flight and the all new feature auto active track. You can also turn off your downward sensors so you can fly super close to the ground. They've also added compatibility with Goggles 2, Integra and RC Motion 2. But first, let's take a look at Vision Assist. So this is a fantastic feature where you swipe across on the map and you can now look through the obstacle avoidance camera and if you expand that screen, you can see you're looking through the lenses and you can click on these little yellow arrows and you're looking through the different cameras. And now you're looking through behind. It's not using the gimbal, so it's very shaky, black and white imagery, but this is still giving us a good view of anything around us. If we're flying in very close proximity to other objects, we want to have a look 360 all around the drone. And then we've got auto active track. This is really exciting. So just make sure you're in video mode and then select your subject. Once you've done that, it'll bring up active shots. Click on that and click the auto and then just click go. It'll now go through a series of shots automatically. It'll start by just holding that shot. and it'll just track you from a constant position. And then it will go into a helix. And as you can see, it comes round and tightens in and comes close to the subject. And then it'll just hold that position and then it'll do a reverse helix. also do a shot called a proxy and it'll just zoom in and just tighten in on you and just track you from that position. To set up your firmware you need to connect to the Wi-Fi so we just scoop down twice from any screen and we'll just reveal our Wi-Fi icon and then we click on that if we're not connected and it'll take you through to the Wi-Fi just click on your settings there to connect yourself. Then you go back to your home screen, click on profile, and we're going to make sure we're logged into our DJI account. Then go to settings and check for our firmware update. This will take a few minutes. When you turn on your drone, a message will pop up on the RC to update the aircraft firmware and you just agree. Once you've done that, you'll be able to use the SD card to store your files on, click storage, go to the SD card, and then that is all set up. So you can check this by scooping down twice, going to the left-hand side, explore the SD card and go down to movies, and there you'll find your recordings. And that's it. Some problems solved and some amazing new features added. Now, if you've got any more questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you want to learn more about drones, there's a playlist here. Show me the love, subscribe to the channel here, and I'll look forward to seeing you over there.